In today's video, again, I'm going to show you how to reduce TMJ tension. And today I'm going to show you a simple movement lesson that is going to help you understand the relationship connection between TMJ, your jaw, and your hips. These two connections, they're far apart. You may not think that they're really connected, but they are connected. You'll be surprised how that when you really sense in those connections, then you can really start to notice the changes happening. Okay. Um, so let's do the lessons. What you're going to need for this lesson is a small towel. I just roll it up like so. It's not that big, it's just a hand towel. It's fine, just to roll it up. And this is gonna go uh, when you lie down on your back. And I'm going to, I'm gonna show you first ahead of the time. So the towel, the placement of the towel roll is important, right? At the base, you find the base of your skull, right here. So you're going to place the towel right at the base of your skull. You don't want it too high, you don't want it too low, and just right at the base of the skull. And you don't want the towel roll to be too big. And depending on your posture, depending on your body type and comfort, then you may need to use a pillow or um, maybe folded blanket underneath your head so that uh, your head is not hanging. So you want to be lying down on your back, your head is, your neck is well supported. And you don't want the head hanging back like so, or you don't want a head or the chin pushing into your, uh, into your chest like so. So you want the head to be supported so that face, the angle of the face is more or less parallel to the floor, if that makes sense, okay? So let's take a towel roll, and then you're gonna lie down on your back. So I'm gonna take this towel roll and place it right at the base of my skull, like so. I'm just having to hold the microphone, so, uh, but otherwise I would be having resting my arm, both arms at the side. And then bend your legs, feet and your knees and feet are about the hip width apart. Okay, so first of all, before you, you can, from this point, and you can just stop watching the screen and you can just listen to my verbal guidance only. That's that way you're not having to turn your head to the sideways and as you are going through the lesson. It's really simple, all right? Then just that it is important that your head, your neck are well supported. And then that it is important that the towel roll is uh, right at the base of your skull. And your legs are bent from this. Once you have this set up, and go ahead and close your eyes and you can listen to my verbal guidance. And go ahead and bring your attention to your jaw. And bring your attention to your teeth. And notice the space between the upper teeth and the lower teeth. If they are uh, closely or tightly close together, and you can just let that go a little bit so you can just have a little bit of space in between the upper and the lower teeth. You don't have to open your mouth, but if they are so, you're clenching your teeth, then you can just let that go and let that, um, let your jaw relax a little bit and then have a little more space between the upper and the lower teeth. So now from this point, you go ahead and start to roll your pelvis upward and downward a little bit, and you're not lifting your pelvis, you're just gently rocking your pelvis upward towards the direction of your head, and then in downward towards the direction of your feet. Movement is very, very slow, and then the movement is very small. So it's not a big movement, effortful movement, but it's a smooth, gentle rocking movement of the pelvis up and downward. So you're just rolling as if the ball is rolling down and up on the floor. So you can imagine your pelvis like a ball rolling upward and rolling downward. Continue to do this movement, but to keep the movement fairly, fairly slow and small. 
so that the movement can continue smoothly without you feeling any effort, any discomfort, just a small movement. And let go of your abs. If you are using your abs to do the movements, let that go. You don't need to use your abs to rock your pelvis up and down. You can use your legs. You can use your legs to move your pelvis up and down. By pushing through your feet, you can roll your pelvis up. You can pull from your thighs to roll your pelvis downward. Just gentle movements of the pelvis up and down. And as you're rocking your pelvis and begin to feel your spine, how is the spine moving as you're rocking the pelvis up and downward? Can you feel that spine being pulled and being pushed by the, by the pelvis? As the pelvis rolls, uh, rolls downward, and you can feel the, the, your spine being pulled downward. And as you roll your pelvis upward, and you can feel the spine being pushed a little bit up and down. So when you continue to do that movement and just try to reduce an effort as much as you can around your torso, around your abs, around your back, and so that the pelvis and the spine can move very, very easily. And then now you can start to bring attention to your neck, your head. Do you feel your head rocking up and downward? as the pelvis rocks in up and downwards, and can you feel the head rocking up and downward, as if you're nodding your head. If that is already happening, wonderful, and then now you bring attention to your jaw. So as the head tilts backward, okay, and what do you do with your jaw? Do you tighten your Draw, you close your mouth, or can you let your mouth open as the head tilts backward? And then as the head tilts downward, and then you can let your mouth close a little bit. If you get tired, you stop. And you come back and you do that with your movements. So that's really it. You can go ahead and open your eyes and come up to sit. And so how was that experience? It's, it's, um, it's really simple movements. It's just the movement is pelvis rocking up and down, up and down, up and down. That's it. Small, slow movements. But because of the pelvis is connected to the spine, Spine meaning the whole, right? This all the way up to the top of your neck. And then because the spine is connected to the head, and then they all begin to respond. Unless you are holding the tension along the way, then they, you lose that connection. Then the head will not respond to the movement of the pelvis. But if you move slowly and then reduce an effort and then as the whole movement starts to kind of take into place and they all connect to each other spontaneously and then the head begins to rock up and down. And at that moment, and then you can just really let go of your jaw because the jaw starts to open and close as the head tilts back and head. So, TMJ hips are very much connected. They are really, really connected, literally connected. So how you move through your hips does have an influence on the neck and the TMJ as well. So you can start to restore those connections and they become more integrated and then the TMJ starts to become more integrated with the whole body. That can help reduce the tension in the TMJ. So that's the 
that's this video and I hope, uh, hope this is helpful. And I would love to hear your experience just having done this lesson right now. And just, if you don't mind writing, uh, sharing your comments and the feedback in the comment section down below, I would really appreciate that. And if you have any questions also, uh, just write down your questions in the section down below. Um, anything else? And I think that's it. And so if you haven't watched the last video and please check that out and where I talked about the relationship between the nervous system and then the TMJ tension. And then next week, I'm going to show you another movement lesson that is about also um, just a movement lesson that explores the relationship between the TMJ spine and the hips once again but done in a different position. So that could be helpful as well. And so please be sure to stay tuned and watch next video. And if you're new to this channel, if you like this video, and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and uh, um, I guess that's it. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. I wanna let you know that you can join my free masterclass path to comfort, confidence, and authenticity in your body. And this is an overview of my comprehensive movement course called Understanding How Your Body Moves Method. If you want to submit your application to this course, and you can do so in the master class. So I hope to see you inside the master class.